What does humor have to do with it? Good morning. My name is Father Frank Buckley. Delighted to be your host for our morning meditation group, Flourishing During Times of Uncertainty. Today is going to be a great day. Today is Monday. This is a three-part program. To people who are new, welcome. The first part is always a little inspiration. And for this morning, we'll be drawing from Mary Poplin's book, Finding Calcutta, about Mother Teresa and what she has to say about humor. <clears throat> the second part of the program is our contemplative meditation, where we give the first 20 minutes of the day to God. Father Thomas Keating says it's so simple, it's almost too good to be true. You just sit down and give this time to God. For those new, if you've never done meditation, the method is very easy. You simply repeat a sacred word that has meaning to you, love, kindness, God, Mary, whatever you'd like, repeat it four or five times, and then drop down to deep rest. If the monkey mind gets going again, just repeat the sacred word four or five more times and drop down to deep rest. And you absolutely cannot do it wrong. And then the last part of the program is uh, an Ignatian examine where we look over the weekend on Mondays and just notice where God showed up for us or where we might have missed the mark. So without further ado, let's get on to Mother Teresa and see what Mary Poplin in her book, Finding Calcutta, says about Mother Teresa's humor. Father Angelo tells the story of his accompanying Mother Teresa to see Pope John Paul II. As they went through the rooms of the Vatican on their way to meet the Pope, mother stopped in each one and took a long look around. When they got to the waiting area, mother turned to him and said, Brother, do you remember what I was going to ask the Holy Father? Father Angelo replied, Mother, how could you forget why you had come? Mother Teresa said, Brother, did you see all the poor outside the Vatican and all those rooms? I was counting how many beds I could get in there. Soon afterwards, the Pope arranged for a large home and chapel for the missionaries on the edge of the Vatican. Well, how much do we love Mother Teresa? In my own imagination, I could just see her figuring out the beds that could go in each of those rooms. Now is also a time during this pandemic in Los Angeles as everything is shutting down to reimagine. As so many more people are winding up in difficult economic times, losing their housing, let us too, like mother, look around and imagine how many people we can get into these empty rooms. On that note, thank you, Mother Teresa, for your humor. Let's uh, move into the inspiration, I'm sorry, to the meditation part of the program. Here, I invite you to get comfortable. You may take your shoes off if you'd like. Press your feet onto the floor. And while you get comfortable, I'm going to lower the lights. <laughs> so today's Monday, and we particularly kind of gear this meditation to those people who are new. Um, so one of the ways we flourish is to unplug. I will set the timer for 20 minutes. I'll ring the bell to begin, and I'll ring the bell to bring us out. So settle in. I invite you to close your eyes or lower the eyes 
anything that feels safe and comfortable to you. And we'll begin and end this 20 minute meditation with the sound of the bell. Listen, listen, the sound of this beautiful bell returns us to our true home. As always, we begin with diaphragmatic breathing. That is breathing deeply as possible into the lower belly three times, in through the nose, out through the mouth, to get us grounded as we begin the week. If you'd like, you can take your hands to the belly. Together, inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Two more times. Inhale and exhale. Last time. Give it all you got. Inhale and exhale. Release the hands. Continue to breathe on your own. Take the attention to the body. Feel the feet pressed on to the green earth. And just notice how solid the earth feels beneath your feet. And that God and the earth may be trusted. Moving up the body, we arrive at the chair or the cushion providing support. We all need a little support, especially during this pandemic. Let's look over our weekend and just reflect on where we felt supported recently. Lean into the support. Moving a little higher up the body, we arrive at the shoulders, the place where we can sometimes hold tension or anxiety. And anything we've been holding on to this weekend, we just let go. Let it slide down the shoulders onto the earth. Let go, surrender, go over to the winning side. And just notice if you feel a little lighter. <clears throat> now we move towards the front of the body. We arrive at the heart. I invite you to take your hands to the heart, cultivating an attitude of gratitude. See if you can come up with something this morning for what you're grateful and simply name it in one word. Gently place that word towards the back of your heart. And as a community, let's breathe into the gratitude one time. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands. And just notice what you feel. Finally, we arrive at the forehead, the area between the eyebrows, the seat of intuition, and we focus on an intention for today. St. Ignatius, the founder of the Jesuits, invites us to ask God for what we most deeply desire, being courageous, 
enough to ask God for something great and beautiful on this Monday morning. Beautiful. Let's seal that intention with an inhale and exhale. Take your attention to the sacred word. Repeat, repeat it a few times. Drop down and enjoy the miracle of contemplation. Please continue.
gently bring your attention back to the room. If your eyes were closed, we'll go ahead and open the eyes. Let's circle the wrist a little, bring a little energy back into the body. Little Monday morning stretch. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, twist to the left and then to the right. A little stretch, a little back stretch, a little forward stretch, stretch up towards the heavens and release. Shake out anything you've been holding on to this weekend. Rest restore, renew. <clears throat> so I see some new names in the room. Welcome, feel free to say hi, tell us where you're from. This next part of the program is, <coughs> excuse me, our um, Jesuit examine. So we just look over the weekend and we notice where God came alive for us. And I will um, <coughs> do this uh, out loud, and then uh, you can feel free to drop anything in the box. I'm seeing Paula's already. I'm going to borrow it, Paula. Uh, so three places God came alive for me this weekend was first, many of you know, I'm doing this Jungian training, and this was the first weekend for it, and it was absolutely stunning. Uh, there were people from literally all over the world, uh, India, Europe, um, the East Coast, the West Coast. And um, I really thoroughly enjoyed it on Zoom. Second, what Paula has in the comment box, uh, we had our fa farewell liturgy for our parish life administrator, Yolanda Brown and Bishop Clark came and presided and gave the homily and was one of the really most beautiful homilies I have heard. He is such a model for the diocese of pastoral uh, care and love, and he's been so uh, generous to us here at Blessed Sacrament. It was just amazing to get to spend the morning with him. And then the parish, I always say Blessed Sacrament is the gem of Hollywood, she was definitely shining brightly on Sunday. The music was beautiful. This, the readers, the speeches, the whole event could not have been really nicer. So that made me happy. And then last but not least, um, Monday morning, I really love our contemplative community, the way we come together. It's so wonderful to have new people uh, joining us. Um, if this was your first time ever meditating, I always go back to Ralph Waldo Emerson's words, a job well done is to have done it. And I also am reflect on uh, Yoko Beck, a Buddhist uh, abbot in San Diego for many, many years. And she also used to say, yes, uh, meditation practice is hard. The only thing harder is not to have one. And I could not agree with her more. And I will tell you from my own personal experience, it is really helpful to have a community to meditate, to give the first 20 minutes of the day to God, to engage in a morning practice, and then just allow the rest of the day to unfold as she will. Happy Monday. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>